Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and I have a lot to tell you right now. This one is about why I collage before I even begin to paint. All right, so I just came back from a week here at Jeep Joe's doing this class for a whole week of collage and abstract painting. And the reason I bring this up right now is because I'm about to do this at Jerry's Art of the Carolina. And here are some of the examples that we're gonna be doing. It's a whole day of class of collage, tearing, and abstract painting. And you can see various styles, different techniques here. Some more representative, some are much more abstract, but they're all very meaningful. That's really important that they have some substance, their meaningfulness. So I'm gonna get started here and uh, show you how I do my abstract collage before I start painting. So the papers that I'm using, obviously, you can see right here is black and white. I have black paper, craft paper, tissue paper. I love to make my own patterns. I don't buy these at the store. I make my own patterns that way. I have my, my ownership, my DNA all over the whole thing. I make my own stripes and then I Xerox them. I have paper ready to go. My gel medium, anybody's gel medium, it's good glue. That's what I use. It's the only glue I use is gel medium. My big ugly brushes, a bucket of water, here we go, and some white, titanium white. I'm ready to go in and play in the sandbox. Let's go. So this is how I start my abstract and collage painting. First of all, I, I build up with tissue paper and black and white uh, designs. So this is like underpainting before I even begin to paint. So I have fun with the graphics right at the very beginning. And I'm going to be putting transparent paint on top of the whole thing anyway. So the color isn't important to me right now. It's the graphic design. So here we go. Tissue paper, lots of glue. Wet that brush and put lots of glue over the whole surface. I don't tear up little pieces of paper and glue them. <laughs> I put glue over the whole surface. I'm ready to go. Here we go. This is a big piece. This is a 24 by 24 sheet of Kilimanjaro paper. There you go. Now, let's get right into it. This is the fun part. I don't use scissors. I just tear it. They told me I'm not allowed to have sharp things, so here we go. Nice big shape. This is me in the sandbox. That's what this is. Now let's get some stripes in there. Variations on a thing here. Oh yeah. See, and I get rid of all the air bubbles right from the very beginning by putting glue on top of it also. In other words, I'm embedding it. Oh, it's kind of fun. Whoa. Let's get into these. and more. Lots of glue. I hear an awful lot of you say you get bubbles it's or uh, the paper's not sticking. It's because you're not using enough glue. That's the least expensive tool in this whole process. Glue. So you use it. There we go. Obviously this is all about patterns and stripes. Again, just the beginning. Look, I even have some that I made over here. A nice paper. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Doesn't take much to entertain me, I'll tell you. Here we go. More glue on top of that. It's kind of a gray paper with black on it. I like to make my own. Again, as I mentioned earlier, that way I have ownership. Here we go. I don't want someone to look at my painting and say, oh, look, he went to the store and bought all these patterns. I went and said, well, what's this guy doing? There, that's the beginning. I make sure I'm having fun at the very, very beginning. I work fast because if I start thinking about it, I won't do it. We, we tend to overthink everything, right? I like to see what I have here to play with. So all my toys are in the sandbox at this point. Pretty physical, isn't it? Here we go. Nice strong shape. That's the design. And now, what I'm going to be doing on the next video is I'll start putting paint in here. This is just the beginning. So if you stay tuned for the next uh, Bob Lass, 
I'll be painting on top of this one and continuing this process of abstract painting and collage. Remember, I'll be doing this for a whole day class. It's fantastic at Art of the Carolinas. Make sure you sign up. People are signing up. I don't want to miss you. So I'll see you there at Art of the Carolinas coming up soon. And check out Sharon DeGiulio. She'll help you. I'm Bob Burridge. And thanks again for watching this Bob Last. Hi there, and it's time for the trade shows. And this November is the one that I do every year at Art of the Carolinas. You've heard about it. It's sponsored there by Jerry's Artorama. I love going there every November. One of the good things about the trade shows is, first of all, they have all these workshops. There are going to be something like 150 art instructors. A lot of workshops going through uh, for several days. It's fantastic. And then the other good thing about those trade shows is the materials, the art materials are already there in the workshops waiting for you. You get to try a little bit of everything. And also out there on the convention floor will be all the art materials manufacturers. And that's where you're gonna get some deep, deep, deep discounts. We all go there. Heck, I go there and buy art materials. I love going there. So speaking about doing all these workshops, the ones that I'm gonna be doing will be, there's some here, here they are right here, right? I'm gonna be doing one called Goof Proof Color and Compositions. It's fantastic, three hours, we get, we give you all the art materials. You just have to show up, right? Okay, then we do, we're gonna be doing abstract florals from loose splatters. I'm gonna be throwing paint all over the place. It's fantastic, don't wear your best clothing, okay? Okay, then we have the loose and juicy landscapes. We'll be doing some of those too. Look at all these fantastic ways of doing loose and juicy landscapes. All right, oh, oh, easy way to paint the figure. This one is really also one of my favorites. Here's some of the examples that we're going to be doing in those workshops. Paint and tear the new contemporary collage. Look, tearing paper, painting. Oh man, we're talking about 2017 contemporary artwork. Start abstract painting today. Speaking about painting for today, we go the full gamut. We come all the way up to this area. Start abstract painting today. I'm gonna to tell you, this is just fantastic. I hope to see you there at Art of the Carolinas. It's gonna be fantastic this November. Go to the website and check out Sharon DeGiulio. She's the lady you wanna to go to and she'll sign you up and talk to you and she's spectacular. I hope to see you there in November at Art of the Carolinas, sponsored by Jerry's Autorama.